Shaunty, Nike T, I can see, Volume 3, XXX Testicle, I mean, uh, XXX Tentacion has a, a new mixtape out, and uh, I asked you guys on Twitter, I was, I was wondering if the opinions were mixed enough that uh, I would, you know, end up doing a review to this thing. Secretly, I wanted to do one anyway, but at the same time, I didn't want to do one if the results were, like, way off. Like, if people were, like, 10% listen to this and, like, 90% no, I'd have been like, all right, nah, I'm not doing it at all. But the results were fairly mixed, and there were a lot of people that were telling me I, I, I should check it out anyway. See what uh, XXX uh, Tactical Nuke has, I mean, XXX Tentacion has for us. I, I just hope you do well. Uh, you know, I'm not a hater. I, I like the dude. Uh, but, you know, everybody knows how I feel about this. I think the music has been pretty dry since he was released from jail. I think, you know, the music beforehand was at least somewhat more inspired. It could have been more uh, more raw. It was a little bit more energetic. It was a little bit more fresh and new. And I think that's the thing that it played on was that, that new factor, that new thing. You know, it's a new kid on the block. He's got a new thing. He's got a new sound. It's a new wave. But now the wave is kind of settling and it's like, uh, can you make some moves again so you can push this momentum? But we're going to see what he can do because, you know, like I said, I, I got faith and I think he can put together something entertaining. Let's hop into the project and see what our man XXX Telitoscope. I mean, little disclaimer, I'm not here to validate anyone's opinion. If you don't like what I have to say, understand that this is all an opinion. You're free to have as many opinions as you want. This is not an I'm right, you're wrong or you're right, I'm wrong situation. Just take the opinion for what it is, take the music for what it is, and move on from there. you know where are you again and the constant looped guitar this is gonna be a precursor to what we're gonna get for the rest of this mixtape because if so I don't mind but I do need a little bit more instrumentation than that track number two off the wall featuring X and ski mask the slump god They told her put her hands up high in the air like she about to hit the night night. They say I'm cook 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 cook. Hey, take a some seat, dig a bitch, dig a all of my nuts because I got money, bitch like bad guy, bad uppercut, super smack me like. I just made a spin on my dick like a bad guy. Jesus. I, I was gonna say something, but let me just keep going. And pussy say out. You got no etiquette. Just begin a legend. This can you give me your rubber? Track number three. What in the? Oh, I've already heard this one. XXX Tarnation. I've already heard it. Uh, track number four. What's up, bro? Featuring Craig Zinn. What is the bro thing for? Seriously, I want to know. Like, what? Why did we have to take the B off bro and switch it to a V? Why? All right, I like the ominous feel. Hey. what X is uh, I feel better at even though that was just Craig Zinn. I feel like sticking to songs like that that kind of play more to his strength if you're not going to be the most lyrical rapper out there uh, at least make something that has a ton of energy and if you're going to perform that at a live show you're going to do great. Track number five H2O featuring Ski Mask, The Slump God and X. I cannot, for the life of me, even attempt to try and take that song seriously when X is in the back screaming, wet, 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 wet. It's just not gonna happen, okay? It, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna fly. Not today. The, the song is just ultimate cringe fest. I'm gonna make her H2O out her... Track number six, Butthole Girl. Watch this beat. <laughs> Can you not interrupt me? Watch this be the Rimmers only in this bitch. Suck him up. 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 Su
Okay, so X's part in that song was literally just him screaming ad libs. That was his verse in the song was screaming ad libs. Why was it you never mind. Track number seven, static shock interlude. <laughs> I don't get how some of you X fans can pioneer some of this stuff. Like, how do you present this music to a new fan and say, here, man, this is the greatest thing you've ever heard in your life. Then the dude plays it and hears the screaming ad libs and slowly backs away from you and exits the car while you're on the interstate. Track number eight, Came to Kill, featuring Kid Trunks and X, and probably somebody else that I can't see on this list. <laughs> You know, X, you could honestly just get a girl to make those female voices on your track. You don't really need to do them yourself. Track number nine, Boost. Track number 10, Choco featuring Cooley Cut. Yeah. Hey, hey. Might as well call it good night. Well, call it good. Scum ass dead bang. Okay, I know what you're trying to do, but you can't get by just dropping bass in an entire song and not saying anything. I'm sorry, it's not gonna fly. You'll get people hype at the show, I'm sure, and get somebody stabbed, but. I don't think it's gonna fly if you're just using this for like recreational purposes. Like you go to a picnic, you want to put this on. I don't think it's gonna do anything for anybody. Track number eleven, Four Pete, featuring Rob Banks and Ski Mask, the Slump Guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I need a check. Yeah. I'm teaching pet. Yeah. Uh, uh, see what I fuck. I want a lick. Show your ass how to make a hit. Uh, look at, look at. Uh, he said I'm lit like a candle. Jesus. I like this hook though. It's catchy. I don't care what nobody says. I've heard Maxi Pass for everyone. I've heard Slipknot. So we're gonna go to Triple Seven uh, featuring Kid Trunks and X. We'll be reminded of the lost days. You should rock the blood for all the us. Uh, shit, my mirror ain't been clear lately. I see my mind becoming blind, but you're real mistaken. You should rock the blood for all the us so I can make it. I don't know, it's like, the, it's like the songs where X tries to actually be a little bit more standout-ish and lyrical. He just falls short in the interest department. Like, when he does spit... Uh, and he finally decides to be a little bit more uh, lyrical and give a little bit more of his own mentality onto the track. It's just like, uh, it, it's nowhere near enough for me to erase all that stuff you were doing in my head before. And, and this, it, it's okay at best. It's not like this dude is really spitting, because he's not. Track number 15, featuring Ken Soul and X, Supra. See your head, information was given. Nigga, shut up and listen. I'ma show you a vision. Studio, all a nigga need is a MacBook. No, no, no. If you got the opportunity, hop your ass in that studio, okay? We get some really good sounding music, and we don't have to hear this bass of being abused in every song on this mixtape. Just to get to where I am, and everybody wanna fuck with me. Remember bad bugs, bad sheets, I felt like all rugged like easy. Cause ain't nobody fucking with my click job. And I will never sleep on the fuck, nigga. Niggas ain't me got you by the dog. Nigga, if you ain't about to face by the fuck. I actually like that song. It was a nice vibe behind it. X was actually doing a little bit of spitting. He slowed the beat down. It kind of put a little bit more emphasis on his voice or completely stopped to drop the beat. And I felt like he carried himself on that track. It wasn't production that was helping him. It was just his own voice and he was giving you something. You know, whether you like his lyrics or not is up to you, but it was giving you something. Track number 16, Goddamn. I'm goddamn it, goddamn it, goddamn I'm Still smoking good kush, goddamn it, goddamn it. What pussy like Rob said, the Rob said, the what? You niggas pussy getting cut to the box. Hard to box the panic. I barely can handle it. I need me my cannabis just to channel it. Switch blame, give you a quick fade. What you want to say? Make you a mistake. No fucking no way. Like Kanye. That might be my favorite track. That might be my favorite track. I think it was because of the way Ken is actually like 
playing with his voice and like switching up his cadence and his flow a little bit, adding that versatility in the track in the beginning. Beat in the background is kind of also helping to add that uh, slight subtle effect of versatility for you to be able to do that on your own anyway. So I definitely like what he did with that track. Track number 17, Vulture. On my necklace, I'm so like number two pencil for touching my breast. I keep the pieces in cream. I keep the boss Never let another nigga crouch her. Pull a bit in run, cause we boss up. He mentioned no tomorrow shit. I'm gonna show you what I'm yeah, he's becoming my favorite man. I don't want you to get slapped with a clip. No face, no case for 12 in the judge. My nigga can't take no loss. Track number 18, Curse. See nigga, bet that pistol part of your disguise. I can see it in your eyes. Running from the reef, took it over, lost my fucking mind. Instigators, why don't trust these bitches? Two faced, the lame ass nigga. Game bang, bang. Nigga, I'm a murk. Put him in the earth. Pay me for the burst. Put him in the hearse. Got it in his. Hey, that's. That track wasn't bad either. I, I I really like that track. Track number 19, members only sheet. I'm trying to go get paid, paid. Shawty you want to fuck that whole of this grace. Yeah. Run it for the money. Okay. I'm in love with bread, bread. Oh. It's time for me to keep the peace when all the world is still with the sea. So what keep your distance from me. Fuck the fuck up. I won't say please. I'm dead. Why is this just like not bad? Track number 20, LOL. Love, rack, soft, ratchet, bitch. Pimpin' with my pinky lit. First, first, slay, switch. Run up on a nigga, no face, no case. Oh, how sweet, no amazing grace. Make a nigga great, make a nigga meet. He said, run up on a nigga, no face. Oh, oh. That's how the gang go. Uh, fat young nigga with the peso. Need a big booty bitch like J Lo. Okay, lot of I need you fake yo. Got one that quarter. I'm like, ha 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 ha. Hey man, I gotta be honest. The second half of this mixtape is way better and more interesting than the first. Track number twenty one. Oh that b. Oh that b. Hey, hey. I mean, the song isn't horrible, but we've heard the subject matter before, and it, it just gets boring to keep hearing songs about having sex. It really does. Track number 22, Invisible Clip. Tomato ketchup, no, you need to fess up. I want a Tesla, I'ma get a Tesla. Numbers like a professor, make a little lesson, then I never mess up. And we have the final track on this thing, Dis to Hate Song, baby, featuring Wi Fi's funeral. This is what I'm living through. I can hear my ex is crying far from living proof. Seems like I'm sick of moping about my ex and work. Are you serious? This is the rest of the song? That last song was so damn disappointing. All right, so how am I feeling about this Members Only Volume 3 mixtape? I don't actually think it's as bad as some people were telling me it was. I think it's I think it's actually a decent amount of tracks on here that you could play and uh, have set up for a certain purpose. I think the thing that people need to stop doing is having this expectation of people like X and the group to you know deliver anything special beyond hype music. Uh, I do believe that that wave is going to end at some point, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, they made this work for them to some degree. Uh, as far as X is concerned, though, I do think he needs to incorporate more into his uh, discog and more into his uh, lineup of versatility aside from just screaming ad libs and, you know, giving the same kind of boring flow on some of the songs when he's trying to be a little bit more lyrical. I, I can appreciate when he does do that because you can hear that there is emotion in his voice, which I do enjoy, but uh, it's not enough uh, to get me to believe or to get me to rank him and some of those, you know, more top tier underground spots. I definitely like uh, where the mixtape is coming from as far as giving people new hype music to listen to because I definitely thought during the first half of this thing, here we go, another, you know, boring slope of tracks, which it was in the very beginning, I'm not gonna lie. It was filled with filler content, which majority of this mixtape is. And it's not really spent showcasing a ton of skill when majority of these uh, beats kind of play off the uh, the bass factor they kind of play off the fact that people love hearing that bass drop so whatever whatever you say is gonna hit 
if you're uh, performing the song, which, you know, makes sense. It's smart to do something like that. However, if you're just a recreational listener and you're not really trying to go to any concert to, to hear this kind of music, and you're just trying to hear it on your own time, stuff like this isn't going to hit for you. I think the main Starlights here aren't actually X, but the other members of this members only kind of group. I think people like Ken Soul and uh, Bay Santana, uh, even Flyboy Tarantino does, you know, pretty good on this thing when it comes to delivering a similar vibe. And I th that may just be because their voices sound kind of similar, but uh, it it's a vibe that I don't mind. And I can listen to the song all the way through. There are a good amount of tracks on here that are just complete throwaways, complete garbage, complete filler nonsense. There are also a good chunk of songs on here that rely solely on the beat. I mean, even the last track just played out. I mean, Wi-Fi's Funeral had a verse in the beginning and the rest of the song literally just played out. It doesn't need to be this long. I'm not gonna come down on it too hard because the mixtape is, is, is just what it is. The mixtape is supposed to be your musical form of expression in its most raw form. So I don't really expect this thing to be like crazy off the wall, conceptual, or you know, be very tied together. It's just a compilation of music that's been recorded from the group. Uh, I thought the intro track was incredibly boring and incredibly lazy to have looped guitar riffs and looped vocals just to extend the song. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me when there are some cuts on here where they're literally like a minute long and you don't have a problem ending those where they need to stop, but the intro track is just long-winded for no reason at all. Ski Mask and X come with the same flow they usually do, nothing really changes up. Wi-Fi's Funeral gives a boring performance at the end of this thing, but there's a good portion between like track 10 and track mm, 19, almost through 20 I would say, that'll give you a, a decent amount of hype. But like I said, if you're not into hype and you don't really see the point in music like this, stay away from this project because it's just going to be a little bit more of that. If you want some music to turn up to, uh, then, you know, when you go to their live concert and they're playing this, I can see people jumping around and punching people in the face and stabbing each other. I can see something like that happening. So, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the mixtape, I'm not going to judge it too harshly. I think it does do a good job when it comes to bringing that vibe of hype music and extending this uh, kind of annoying wave that a lot of people are on. But there's nothing really to be gained from it. It's just more hype music. That's it. I'm going to throw a 5 out of 10 on this mixtape. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like rating down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this whole body of work, this whole little project we got here. Uh, do you think it needed to be as long as it was? And do you think the reward was worth you putting in the amount of time to listen to this thing? It's been Sean C, the guy who validates no one's opinion hope you enjoyed this project and this video if you did you know what to do thank you for watching i'll see you next time peace